Global Center Project is, it's a program that's based in the East Coast and it was started by a group of college kids who help out young adult artisans in Nicaragua who spent their childhood on the streets until they were taken in by these shelters. The young adults make these pulseras, which are really nice bracelets, and they sell them all across the U.S. But what we do is we take all the proceeds and we send it back to the people on the East Coast and then they send it back to the base in Nicaragua, which that money can go to provide shelter, food. This summer I was reading about I don't know, some language publication, I don't remember which, and it was just simply mentioned, and I thought it sounded cool at the time. I didn't, didn't do too much with it. Later on, I did look at the website a little closer to the beginning of the school year. I kept it in mind. I did mention it to our class, and you know what happened. Everybody wanted to do it, and it was really cool from the get-go. I didn't have to convince anybody, and I think if I had to, this wouldn't have been the project that it is today. It's truly because the students in the class took ownership. I have enjoyed finding a way for our class to really unite on a project. I mean, I think in a lot of language classes or classes in general, it's difficult to find ways to really connect the class outside of superficial projects like, hey, if everyone gets an 80 on the test, we'll have a pizza party, things like that. Knowing how much we're helping them, um, it was like after our first sale, we found out that we could send a child through college for four years just with what we had raised and that that alone is so amazing. These little kids make the pulseras so that they can have a better life and I mean when you think about it five dollars isn't really isn't that much money I mean it's like a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Or I think in my job as a teacher certainly you know I experience reward and gratification certainly in the classroom. This was just a whole different level of love, and it just generally made me feel good to be part of this. Obviously we can't solve the problem of poverty in Nicaragua single-handedly, but we can, through the little things like the Bolsera Project, we can take a stab at it. We can use just, you know, just the volunteer manpower of our classroom and the generosity of people at Santa Rosa High School to change somebody's life completely. And by the end, it's cool. We all have our own little yeah. piece of the solution. You know, you get to wear it around. My favorite part is the students and their experiences and how they have grown and how they've matured and how they've changed. It just really helped me like open my eyes and see what's going on in other countries. Find something that matters to you and do something about it because that's the only way problems get solved. The most important thing is that the kids have hope. It's nice to know that we're doing what we can to help them.